Right, going back to episode 6 of the Arsenal career mode, it's been a quite a long time to be perfectly honest since this got uploaded, but people have called for it and I actually like, and play, I like playing as Arsenal, you know, favourite team, well, one of my favourite teams would go with that, you know, I'm in the big jars, man, although, I mean, Arsenal's been test, testing my patience recently, but these are going to be like quick, quick fire highlights because there is a load of games to get through, so basically Bournemouth, it was a shit match. Well, I, we dominated it, like, but I mean, we, we only opened them up late on, like I said there. I mean, he has the league's top goal scorer in this career mode. Like I said, runs through and makes it the big 1-0. Like I said, plays in Marco Royce, great feat. Look at that, you score one goal, you open their entire defence up, and that is what I'm talking about. Can't really go wrong with that. Marco Royce celebrating, so maybe it was um, a good idea bringing big Marco into the club. Can't really go wrong with big Marco, but here we go. Aaron Ramsey though wins it and the referee blows the full time whistle which means we've won 2-0 at home against Bournemouth which is no bad. But anyway here we go into the next game which is against FCR Altac. Pretty shite game, it's Europa League, I mean it's not quite the Champions League to be perfectly honest, like is it? It's absolute dog piss. Jack Welsh here though, got a solo, 1-0, get the new site, case closed, good night, George is at the door. I mean Easy as that, I mean, this team's pish, you'd expect nothing less than us to tank them from this point out. Anyway, the ball gets kept in by, I think I'm pretty sure it's Bell and Wilshire. Nice wee bit of skill. Tour Vidal, over to him, Lamar, Lamar, he finds Gersola, Gersola! I mean, that should have been 2-0 and Gersola's second, Lamar should have got a wee assist. Lucas Perez, finds Santi Gersola. Oh, but the referee has decided to give a penalty. Cash point. Bang bang, good night, son. You're right, big fella. <laughs> yes, there we go. Apparently, who will be stepping up? It's a two for Dal. It's first game for the club. Is it his first game? Is it? Is it his first? No, it won't be because he played against Bournemouth. Am I smoking? So it's his first goal for the club. And that's really all that matters. Look at that. Top bins. No saving that one, big man. Well, sure, though, gets played through. And it's an absolute. Calamity from this team's defence. Well, sure, classy back here. Lucas Perez, who should be at Deportivo, but you know, he's no, so I'll take it. But, and that is us. Um, yeah, so we're free now up this game basically out of sight. It's just more of a question how much we can score more than if this team's going to mount any sort of serious comeback. But anyway, we've got Thomas Lamar. Basically, wrecking. Look at, look at that. I mean, look at the amount of power on that. I mean, nobody saving that. Don't care if you're Steven Seagal. Oh, I was going to say Bruce Willis, but I mean, Bruce Willis is a lot higher rate. Well, actually, Steven Seagal's got forehead made of fucking. I don't reinforce steel we'll go with, so you know what I mean? He could be posing a wee fucking threat. But we won 4 0 in the end, so I will take it every day out of the week. But next game, coming up next at the bridge, it's against Chelsea. This is one of the tougher games of the season we've had. I mean, we had that game at Anfield and we get beat, but. I mean, we fucking see that first half, like, we absolutely fucking raped them. But there's David Lee's sideshow bob, or as I call him, slideshow bob, because I've got something fucking wrong with me. Anyway, though, for that, that's what I'm talking about. He is, that's why we brought him in, to buddy, win the ball back. Here we go, Marco Royce. Marco Royce. What a finish, and that is why we signed Marco Royce. 1 0, easy as that. We're winning at the bridge. Fly Emirates, we're fucking flying. What a finish, though. Big Roy, he's only three minutes in. Who the hell is that? Do not recognise him one bit. Must have been Klasenak. Anyway though, Fatal, Fatal, who can he find? He finds Meza, Ozil, Ozil, can he find a way through? Lacassette now on the ball. Lacassette. Trying to find a gap, but there's just not much happening. He finds Marco Royce again. He whips it in. Sanchez can't quite get his dome to it. Absolute shite ball. Royce now on the ball. Goes up for a shot, Fidal, and that is a wee bit dog pish. Oh, but we've won the ball back, Marco Royce. Marco Royce. Oh, great ball, Lacassette, 2-0. That's what I'm talking about, Lacassette still on fire as per usual. And that is us, winning 2-0 at the bridge. Hopefully we should be able to see this game out, but it wouldn't surprise me if we bloody couldn't. But as you can see, we're playing here, Marquisio tries to play it forward, but a pretty shite pass to be perfectly honest. And that is the halftime whistle, so it's 2 0 at halftime. We've only got 45 minutes now to hang on. Ball gets whipped in. I mean, 15 minutes to go, surely we can hang on. But great back heel to Diego Costa. Diego Costa! No way, like, 
That's just got them back in it, like, from out of fucking nowhere. He's out of favour. Is he even with them? No, he's agreed to join Atletico in real life, but look at the neck of that. No, not Diego Costa. What are you doing, Bellerin? I mean, it's basically identical goals, apart from the first one was further out. That's a joke, like... Can't be jobbing out to these fucking jabronis, like... And that is the way it finished, too. It's like, 2-0 lead at the bridge, and we fucking lapped it. I'm sorry, guys. I lapped it, man. I'm absolute pish. Anyway, though, the next game is the Carabao Cup at the Hawthorns. I really cannot be arsed for this game. Like, So, ball gets whipped in. No quite, but Lamar wins it back. Smashed. I mean, Lamar, Malo, Malo, Lamar just generates so much power on his shots compared to the other people. And it's 1-0, and that is really case closed. We've been fucking tanking them so far. Grisola, I mean, fuck, his fucking Achilles in real life is fucked. He had to take his arm off, but his arm off, well, the skin off, you not fucking... You want me to attack your arm down and give you a fucking back rub with it. Anyway, though, Jack Wilshere cuts it back. Can he find Lamar? Aye, he can. 2 0. Easy as that. Lamar bags himself two goals, so he scored in the Europa League. And. AI. Oh, well, let's see. And that is the full time whistle. Here we go though, into the final game of today's episode that I will be playing. It's us against West Brom. We just beat them in the cup, like so playing them twice in a row against the most boringest club in the fucking whole of the football league and the Premier League combined. Big Mesut plodding about fucking driving a white fan up some pedestrian lane. But that's not gonna happen this game. Well unless we lose. But Sanchez not on the ball. Sanchez, like I say, making that run and they've been fucking raped at the back. There we go, 1-0, easy as you like, like I said again, I mean, this guy's going to end up with 30 odd goals in the Premier League, like, and I can't wait. But that's basically how they gave it, 1-0, piss poor game, Valorant celebrates, but it is a win, that is really all that matters to be honest. Anyway though, into the next game against Bronby, I mean I just decided to sim this game because Ripley's fucking shit, I mean do you really want to watch it, I mean leave it down below if you want to watch it, I'll play it, but I'm going to win every fucking game. Well, actually, real soldiers have to see him a big team, but we're in 3 0. Terrell, John Terrell, and Jack Wilshire with the goals. But anyway, this will do it for episode 7 of the Arsenal Crew. Next time, it will be playing Brighton at home, and we should be winning. And where are we in the league? We're fourth, so it's looking no bad. But until next time, peace.